The Knicks are up 2-0 in their series against the 76ers, and Game 3 goes down in Philly tonight. So what's that mean for you betters? New York Post bet analyst Eric Richter has two bing-bong bets that just put might put some cash in your pockets. And I'm not even going to say might. I'm just going to say absolutely will put cash in your pockets because I like these two ones. Eric, what's going on, my man? How we doing? Let's go Knicks, baby. This is we're in New York fever, man. The city is on fire because the Knicks yep. are on fire. Uh, let's start with the player prep. The player prop first. Josh Hart over four and a half assists. You like this one? My guy Josh Hart is balling, and you know, so here's the reason that it's plus money, right? You're looking at a plus one forty six prop. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, like plus one forty six, like he's probably not even close. And yeah, he had three assists last game and two assists the game before. And look, I totally understand why it's plus money, but here's why it shouldn't be. He averaged five point three assists in April and six point three assists per game in March. The only reason that he's going under is because the Philadelphia seventy sixers are sagging off of the guy. They are daring him shoot and. He, you know, they're the guy in the pickup basketball game where you're you got a hand in his face, and you're like, shoot, oh, shoot, shoot. And they take like a step back, step back, step back. You know, they're doing that with Josh Hart, and it is not working. 57% from uh from three last game, 50% uh, game before that. He's hitting these knockdown open J's in stride. Um, there is no reason that Josh Hart can't get over five assists here. You know, I I would even like a flyer on triple double at like 40 mm. to one. Um, and Josh Hart is one of, he's a dog. He's one of those guys. He he is New York through and through. He, he embodies everything that the team's about. Toughness, uh, team player. Uh, give me Josh Hart over four and a half assists all day. And when you throw in the fact that Jalen Brunson has kind of been struggling, just think three or four passes to Brunson, boom, there goes two, three assists right there yes. to add to it. The Nova Knicks are going to be down uh, close to Villanova tonight, so you know they're going to put on the show. Uh, here's the one that all Knicks fans can't wait for. Uh, Knicks' money line is at plus 205, you say. So break down this bet. Who you got? Yeah, yeah. The, the line is way off here. Plus 205 is nuts. The the 76ers got a career game out of Tyrese Maxey in game two and still lost. Like, it, if Tyrese Maxey doesn't have that big game, the Sixers are getting waxed in that first half. Um, so, you know, I, just on that alone, I think that unless you are expecting another huge game from Maxi, which seems pretty foolish, I would say that the line's a little long. Also, you know, the spread's only five and a half. And, you know, I was showing value towards that five and a half um, on my model. And, you know, for me, I think that plus 205 is just a little bit long here. You know, I think it should be a plus 170, a plus 180. Yeah, they totally should be underdogs. But don't give me plus 05. Plus 205. Plus 205 is nonsense. You get on FanDuel. Uh, um, the Knicks travel well on the road. The Knicks, you know, they have you know, equal equal uh, road versus home, um, you know, record. So I, I don't really see the the road thing. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of Knicks fans in Philly. As you mentioned, the Nova Knicks. It's, it's interesting. I, I just... I understand why the 76ers are favorite plus 205 is out of whack. Um, I don't think the books want to take any money on the favorite, which is fine, but I'll, I'll gladly take plus 205, and you know the Knicks are going to work for your money. Hey, let's go Knicks. Uh, Eric, thanks for hopping on with us, man.